Oh, I just had a bunch of delete videos. How do I find good music? Um. <sighs> oh, yeah, dude. What the? Yo. Hey, what's up, <laughs> What? Actually frog? down? Yeah, yeah, bro, let's catch some frogs. God, let's do it. Bro, you thirsty? You need some strawberries? Yeah, bro. These what? <laughs> what do you think, bro? Let's turn it off, man. <laughs> you want to know how to catch a frog. Wiki, how could it help you at all? Nope. That's why I came to you. You came to the right person, my friend. Hey, anybody gonna finish that? What? Hey. Oh my god. <laughs> you wanna catch a frog? Yep. It's pretty easy. It's only easy if you're a pro though. First thing is to know the location. If you just show up to a random creek bed thinking that there will be a frog, chances are you're not gonna see one. You gotta do your research. You gotta scout. You gotta wait at a certain area of water until night. And if you hear croaking, you found your spot. That's where you catch the frogs. You know what I'm saying? I need like another one of these. It's pretty self-explanatory, am I right? Yep. All right, man. So obviously, this fit is too fresh to catch a frog. So, you gotta get into proper gear to catch a frog. I'll show you how to do it. That brings us to step two. The fit proper for catching a frog. So, I have the ideal outfit, obviously. The first thing we're going to showcase is the high socks. Reason for the high socks is because of the ticks. You don't want a tick on you. It's bad stuff. I've had one. Trust me, it's horrible. High socks is the first thing you want for proper gear. Next is pants. Jeans, skinny jeans, colored jeans, joggers if you want to Avoid getting your lower parts wet from wading in the water. It'll uh, fit with anything, so just any type of pants. And that brings us to this, a long sleeve shirt. I know it's June right now and it's hot, but when you're up there, it's gonna get cold. Not only that, but ticks can get on too on this area. So you wanna make sure you're wearing a long sleeve so they can't easily get on. And of course, a sweatshirt that you really don't care about. Check this out. This is just a simple hang sweatshirt I found in Walmart. Five bucks. That's all you need. You don't need like some fancy jacket, Steve Irwin, <laughs> crocodile hunter jackets. You don't need that. You just need this. Finally, this bad boy. Make it really hot, but I would wear this because when you're going through the shrubs, you're gonna get stuff in your hair. Ladies, I don't think you would like that. So go for this. It's important. That's cool and all, but what about the equipment? Good question. Step three. I like to store my equipment in the oven where it's nice and warm. Check it. It's dope. So, first thing you need is some sort of container. The second thing is gloves. Third and final theme. What does this call itself? Flashlight. Flashlight. This one is <laughs> Dude, gotta hydrate myself. What's next? Step four, drive to the location. Sandals? Uh, is this right, Nick? You're the expert. I know I am. Always gotta make sure it's locked. This is Stacy. Say hi, Stacy. What's up, Stacy? I usually keep all my gear in here. Pretty nice. And oh, oh. Miller shoes. <laughs> you thought I was actually gonna wear sandals. Hey, you got yeah, me there. I got you there, you man. Alright. As you can tell, the sun is setting. You don't catch frogs during the day. They don't come out during the day. Not during the night. They're night crawlers for a reason. Oh, this is the perfect time to catch a frog. Brings us to step five. I step believe five. so. Yeah, yeah.
we're here finally in the melting pot of the frogs and toads. It's time to catch them. Right here on my right side is Brody Willie, professional herpetologist. This guy is a professional. So, it's time to catch the frog and show you guys how it's done. All right, now we're at the step where we just look. Look at the shrubs, it's where they're most likely gonna be. Probably look over here for any shrubs. There we go. See you, man? Coming right from the shrub. Can you get that in the background? Yeah. That's a shrub. That's where these guys come from. Pretty slow, not too hard to catch. First thing you want to do is just put your hand over it and lightly grasp it like this. Let it climb around a little bit. There you go. There you go. You got very strong legs, so what you want to do is just hold on to this part lightly. Not too hard. Just light enough. Judging from its patterns and uh, eyes, it looks like a western toad, but I could be wrong. Never seen this light of a toad before. Cool, can you get some shots of that? Awesome, let's get it in the tank. We put some water into it. That's what you want to do before you catch these guys so that they're moist when they get in. There we go. All right, so right after we let the frogs go, the ones that you just saw, two others just came out, different colors. Let's go catch them. Now that is a Western toad. And if you could hear closely, they make a little um, chirping noise. So that's how you do it, guys. That's how you catch a frog. The tables are going to turn, and we're gonna see if our disciple can catch one. Stay tuned. All right. Use one hand and just grasp it like this. Kind of like a cable if you were to hold one. There you go. By the legs. That's it, dude. I taught this guy. Look at that. All thanks to Nick's here. You're welcome. As you can see, all the wildlife taken were safely released back into their environment. Mm. Look at that, look at that. That's a baby Pacific tree frog. Beautiful creatures. We could get them in here. Hopefully the toad doesn't eat them, but you never know, guys. <laughs> I can cut it. <laughs> 